I was born here in Sioux Falls. My mom is of the mentality that we're all human at the end of the day, so like labeling ourselves as like lesbian, gay, bi, trans, whatever, isn't really that important because we should just accept that we're all human beings. Now that I'm out as gay and as trans, I think it's very important that I'm able to stand up for myself and then stand up for others who they can't defend themselves. ACLU contacted me and said, hey, we want you to speak out against this bathroom bill that the state's trying to propose for the legislature this year. I should speak up for those voices who can't speak. This bill hurts. It makes me feel like I'm not a human being. I'm being treated like I'm different, so I need to be isolated. That I don't deserve the same human treatment. I respectfully ask that you vote no on HB 1008. I was very nervous going into that because, I mean, it's the governor and I'm supposed to change his mind. Here I am in front of him. So I just shared my story and he was able to like take it in from every angle, which is a very good thing. Mom, they vetoed it! Check, please, please, make sure this is real, please. And there was this small party that we had, you like, they vetoed it, they vetoed it. And then got like 16 calls <laughs> from different news outlets, like, tell us what you're feeling, please. And did all that, and then there was a, oh wait, you were getting a burrito, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so you still had to go to Qdoba. Now, like, there's that realization that, like, I did it. My work actually changed something for the better. And that's a very good feeling to have. The ACLU, they really got the ball rolling about getting me out there on, like, to that first press conference, getting me to peer. They understood that although I am this person who is willing to do all these things, I'm still a human being who needs to like sleep, eat, and practice self-care. Like, that shows me that this organization actually cares about not just the cause, but also the people who are fighting for a cause.